Informatics is one of the fastest growing areas within healthcare. It helps to deliver personal data to healthcare professionals safely and securely so they can give the most appropriate care to patients whilst protecting their privacy. Well, the main national organisations representing informatics professionals have agreed to work in a groundbreaking collaboration to form the Federation for Informatics Professionals. We went to find out more. Trevor Fossey had a stroke five years ago. He now takes eight medications daily, but has no trouble keeping track of it all because he can access his medical records online. It's on my smartphone. It's also on my notebook. Um, if I do have a relapse, even if I'm abroad, I can take my uh, medical record out and, and um, show them. And then they're aware of the medications, they're aware of my summary record, which they're most interested in because it gives a quick summary of allergies and things like that. And um, it just, I feel safer for that. These smartphone apps are just one example of how powerful informatics can be. In fact, the future delivery of almost all healthcare will depend on digital technology to share patient information securely and confidentially. To make that happen, a new alliance is being created to bring together all the different professional bodies working in informatics. It will be called the Federation for Informatics Professionals, or FedIP. Of course, retaining patient trust is central to everything that's happening here. But the most important thing is educating everyone to understand the power of shared information, whether that's the patients, the doctors that treat them, or in fact the IT professionals who develop those systems that will ultimately hold all our personal information. By working together, the FedIP Alliance will help to ensure clinicians make the best use of digital technology to help their patients. That will lead to more efficient and effective ways of working to improve care, but with safeguards to keep data secure. With electronic and digital systems, you can lock that down. So as a receptionist, I'd only be able to see the demographic side of the data, just the name, address, those type of things that I need to do my job. Whereas at the moment, if I walked into a medical records library and picked up a case note, I've got access to everything. So I think with digitalization, you will have much more control, much more security. FedIP has also been created to improve the lives of staff that work in the informatics industry. The new alliance will provide a collective professional voice that has impact. That will mean informatics professionals gain recognition for what they do and, like doctors and nurses, have their views taken seriously. Uh, they will find that the landscape, the professional landscape, will be much simpler and easier to work out which professional body that they should join and belong to. Uh, they will find that the career prospects that they get are supported much more clearly by the professional bodies through training programmes, uh, mentoring schemes, support for achieving qualifications, uh, and also they will have the opportunity to demonstrate their professionalism by becoming uh, members of a professional register. Everyone who works in informatics already tries to harness the power of information to improve the nation's healthcare. But it's hoped the process of collaboration under the umbrella of FedIP will act as a catalyst for further rapid invention. It's one of the big challenges we have in healthcare is it takes some 17 years for half of clinicians to adopt the evidence base once it's known. If we can use technology to reduce the 17 years down to 17 months or even 17 days, then we can find a way to disseminate best practice very quickly so patients can get higher quality care much faster. As more information is appropriately shared, services between health and social care will become more joined up, convenient and accessible. So they're doing an assessment of an individual who's been discharged from hospital, for example. Um, <clears throat> you know, they, they have access to the, the range of services, not just from within the traditional health and social care services, but from within the community. And that in turn, I think, just, just it has to be better. Once up and running, all other relevant professional bodies will be welcome to join FedIP, share their knowledge, raise standards through professional registration and improve health and care services for all. <laughs>